Yeah, so this is the RF vector signal transceiver. You can see it has the RF out and the RF in. Yep. And then right next to it, we have a two-slot baseband vector signal transceiver, which has IQ out and IQ in. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it has a basically a differential IQ arbitrary waveform generator differential IQ digitizer. Mm -hmm. And a typical configuration is to actually use multiple of these because many times we have customers doing a MIMO transceiver testing uh, type so of this, system. So this setup will give you how many channels? So this one can do um, one per module. Okay. And so, but you can synchronize up to eight per chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, and so in that case, you could do an eight by eight MIMO uh, testing system. Okay. And so the synchronization happens in the back plane of the chassis with yep. rotate synchronization that way. Mm -hmm. And actually, we've designed our software for wireless LAN, for example, mm -hmm. so that it's natively supported you in the software panel. You configure how many you want and, and just go from there. Okay. So the, the demonstration we're showing today is actually showing a 5G new radio waveform. Mm -hmm. And the specific configuration is to have four... Uh, carriers each with 100 megahertz of bandwidth. Okay. So the the 5G new radio specification is actually still getting defined as we speak. Right. Right. And okay. um, so. there's multiple subcarrier spacing options, multiple carrier configurations. We'll likely see up to 800 megahertz total bandwidth um, based on multiple carrier configurations. Mm -hmm. So will, will they? They'll probably be eight times 100 megahertz. Uh, they could right. be eight times 100. You could also do 16 times 50. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but the different different vendors are actually proposing different options in terms of which which they would like to use in the majority use case. Mm -hmm. But this is probably a fairly common one, the four okay. times one hundred.